This is part of the rejuvenation works for the Black Rock site. So there will, in due course, just literally the other side of this fence, be a new road going in, the link road, um, at a kind of lower level that will take you under and into the Asda car park. The great thing about an alphabet is that we wanted to bring as many artists on board as possible. And an alphabet has got 26 letters, but you know, we can afford 26 artists, so we've got 13 artists. There are references to the geology of the site, the heritage of the site, and quite importantly, all the different users that you have on the site. Yeah, I was just walking by, and normally it's such an eyesore around here, and I just looked at this amazing artwork and I thought, wow. <laughs> so I haven't, I've only looked at, I've looked at A, B, C and D, actually just the first five really, and I thought, well, I'm going to definitely make a detour now, and I'm going to go all the way down to the end of the alphabet before I go home. It looks beautiful, some of the artwork, and um, yeah, I'm very intrigued. <laughs> It's often the case where art can say something or show something or make you think about a place in a different way. It can add. You may not like it, not everyone likes it. You may think it's, you know, perfect for its situ you know, the situation, the context, the sighting it's in, or you may think it's not, uh, and that's fine, you know. And if it creates a debate or a dialogue, which we hope this will, and, you know, conversations, then that's, that's fantastic.